I'm not sure what's happened to this little guy. When he opens his wings, I think he's got a bit of sawdust trapped. It might be why he's shaking, or he may have been hit by a car, or just damaged in the wind. He's a peacock butterfly. But I thought it would take, I'd take the opportunity to take a video of him because they are really gorgeous and you don't often get to see them this close because they're very flighty but um, hopefully he'll open his wings and you'll get a shot and also I can replay the video and see what's trapped in between his wings because there's definitely something there but he's he's reluctant to uh, oh there we go there's definitely something there the wind isn't helping there's a yeah, it looks like a piece of sawdust. Oh, hang on, he's flying. Okay, now he's on my leg now. Ah, okay, uh, he's now on the floor. He's having trouble flying, so I'm gonna go and hunt him down again. So, here he is again. He's definitely unable to fly, and it's that, it's amazing that that little piece of, I don't know, I think it is sawdust, can prevent a creature like this flying. I don't know if it's the aerodynamics or or what, but uh, I'm gonna grab something and just, well, see if I can do it by hand first. If I can grab it, that would be perfect. There we go. Okay, well, that worked better than I thought. So we'll see if we can come, there you go, pick him up. And oh, he seems a bit better, or she. Actually, I'll have to look it up. I'm not sure what, what the difference is between the male and female of this species. It's definitely flapping a bit better. As you can see now, they are spectacular creatures. And you rarely get this close to them. Still having a little bit of trouble flying around there, but uh, hopefully now we've removed the item, he'll regain his strength, or she'll regain her strength, and it'll be okay. So we'll get a shot before we say goodbye. There we go. I can't see any other damage to it, so hopefully that was all it needed. He's quite blustery today, so perhaps that's that's the problem. She probably flew into it could have been a, a cobweb which contained some some bits of material, and there might be some web on her somewhere. Sometimes that can bind them up. I'll uh, I'll go around the other side so you can get a better shot. Well, that was a real result. The moment I got up to reposition to take a, a shot of her from a different angle she flew away over the fence so it obviously was stuck that piece of sawdust and stopping her flying and if I hadn't seen her by the back door I would never have, um, have been able to help and people will say some people will say anyway you shouldn't interfere let nature do its thing but you know what we've interfered in ways that nature could never have comprehended or understood or even get over so the little things we can do to make that right is fine in my book so thanks for watching please like and subscribe and share on social media a portion of this channel does go to charity and it's a rainforest charity that does marvelous work so the more people that watch the more money we can make and i say money loosely because i still haven't had the first payment yet which will go and save about two thirds of an acre. Still waiting because I haven't reached the minimum that you need on YouTube. It's very sad, I know, but we'll get there. So thanks for watching, cheers.